Let's examine the Cisco IOS command modes. I'll click on PC1, click on the Terminal Emulation Program, click OK, and you can see that I'm presented with a console command line interface. This is the Cisco IOS. I'll press Enter on my keyboard to get started. Notice the command prompt at the bottom left of the screen, which indicates the command mode that I'm in. The Cisco IOS uses different command modes to establish various privilege levels for users. Different commands are available in each mode. For instance, the word switch, which is the default name of the switch, with the greater than sign indicates that I'm in user exec mode. User exec mode has very little privileges with access to only a limited number of commands. One of those commands available in this mode is the enable command. At the blinking cursor, I'll type the command enable and press enter, and I'm now in privileged exec mode. I can tell this because the prompt has changed from a greater than sign to a hash or a pound sign. Privileged exec mode offers a higher privilege level for the user and more commands are available. If I would like to go to a higher level, I can go into Global Configuration Mode, or Global Config Mode for short. I can reach Global Config Mode by typing in Configure Terminal and pressing Enter. And now you can see the Global Configuration prompt. This is where most configurations of a switch or a router take place. There are also sub-configuration modes, like Interface Configuration Mode. If I type Interface VLAN 1 and press Enter, I'm presented with a prompt that indicates I am now in Interface Configuration Mode. Many commands will only work from within certain modes. A common mistake made by users new to working with the Cisco IOS is trying to use commands from within the wrong mode. If you are sure that you are typing a command correctly, but you are continually getting an error message, always check your prompt to make sure you are in the right mode. Let's look at the commands that are used to move between the different iOS command modes. We'll look at the Enable command, the Disable command, Configure Terminal, Exit, and using Control z on your keyboard, plus some commands to enter different sub-configuration modes. I have a console connection to a switch, so I'll click on PC1 and press Enter, and it takes me to User Exec mode. Notice the prompt at the lower left of the screen. To enter Privilege Exec mode, I type Enable. If I want to return back to User Exec mode, I can type Disable. I'll type Enable to return to Privilege Exec mode. In order to configure the switch, I need to first get to Global Configuration mode or Global Config. I'll type Configure Terminal and you can see now that I'm in the Global Configuration prompt. I can type Exit and press Enter to return to Privilege Exec mode. If I type Exit again, I leave my console connection altogether. To re-enter the switch and get a command line interface, I have to press Enter on my keyboard. And now I'm brought back to the console connection with the switch. I'll type Enable and press Enter and then config T, short for configure terminal, and now I'm back in global config mode. Let's enter one of the sub-configuration modes. I'll type line console zero to get to the management interface for the console port. Now that I'm in a sub-configuration mode, if I type exit, I return to global config mode. This time, I'll type line VTY zero space 15, for my virtual terminal management interfaces. These are used for remote administrative access to the switch. I can move directly from one sub-configuration mode to another. Notice if I type in interface VLAN 1 and press Enter, that my prompt has changed from line configuration mode to interface configuration mode. From here, I can also enter different interfaces, like interface fast Ethernet, 
zero slash one. And as long as I don't see an error message that I've typed an invalid command, I'm in interface config mode for fast ethernet zero one. I can also move directly to the line console zero. Commands that are normally run in global config mode can also be run from any of the sub configuration modes as well. If I want to exit out of all sub configuration modes and return to privileged exec mode, I can use the N command or press Control Z on my keyboard. Let's give that a try. I'll type end, press enter, enter again, and you can see now that I've returned all the way back to privileged exec mode. I'll return to global configuration mode and then into line console zero. And this time I'll hold down the control key and press Z. And if I press enter, you can see that I'm brought all the way back to privilege exec mode. If I'm in global configuration mode and I type end and press enter, I'm also brought back to privilege exec mode. Learning to navigate efficiently between the different command modes will save you a lot of time.